Okay, so I'm sure you feel like I'm wasting your time now because you can already see how to solve this one. And if that's the case, please stop the video and go on. If you if you get this, then please continue. However, if you if you look at this and you're like, oh wait, this doesn't look like what we've been doing so far, and then uh, well, feel free to just. Uh, do this question with me and you'll see it's really no difference different please do not let maths intimidate you uh, there's really basic things that you need to do and we know that the first thing was to get this into a format of ax squared plus bx plus c okay and this we know how to be the boss of this thing uh, we've looked at that quite thoroughly by now so that's all we need to do is is uh, get it to a point where we know what to do to do that we see we're going to have to add 7x plus 12x on both sides because on this side it will del eliminate it so plus 7x plus 12 and this side will now have x squared plus 7x plus 12 is greater than uh, 0 and come on this is really not bad is it now all we do is we factorize greater than zero and we see that this is x plus three x plus four because three plus four is seven and three times four is twelve which means that if i were if this was an equation my solutions would have been x minus uh, 3 and x minus 4 because I want this equal to 0 and that equal to 0. It's not an equation though so please I wish I can tell you how many times I see students just doing this or x is greater than negative 4. Oh man and this saddens me so much because they just don't get it. Please you can't just go on from here. You either have to do it by inspection and seeing, oh, this must be positive. So either this, this was one of the solutions, okay, and it's not even or, it's and, x is greater than negative 4, or x is smaller than 3, negative 3, I mean, x is smaller than negative 3, and x is greater than negative 4. Now for this first one, because it's an AND statement, I'll just see if there's one that's stronger than the other one. Greater than negative 3 or greater than negative 4. Negative 3 is the strongest statement. It already includes this one, so I don't have to have it. In this one, uh, smaller than negative 4 is the strongest statement because if I'm... Uh, Sorry, this must be smaller than. If I'm smaller than negative 4, I've already included this answer. Okay, so I use these two because I'm greater than 0, which means this must be positive and that must be positive, or this must be negative and that must be negative, so that when I multiply the answers, I'm greater than than zero. That's by inspection. I've done that in previous videos. That's not the method I prefer. I prefer just drawing a parabola. Okay. Drawing an x axis, cutting here at negative 4 because negative 4 is the smaller one here at negative 3. Looking at am I using the top or the bottom part? I'm using the top part, which means I'm using this these outside legs. Okay, they not include the equal to zero. So this line is the equal to zero line. That's how I got negative 4 and negative 3 by making this bracket equal to 0 but they shouldn't be equal included so they are not and uh, and that now since I'm using the outside legs I'm also using the part of my x-axis that goes beyond the two roots instead of between the two roots so that's my solution x is greater than negative 3 or x is smaller than negative 4 and that's it actually yes now let me leave it there